This event ended like half an hour ago, but this is the fastest turnaround I have ever done in a video, so I hope you like it. Google I.O. 2023 happened like half an hour ago, and these are my top announcements for users that you need to know about. Number one is the Pixel Fold. This is the first Google Foldable. The front display is big and unfolded. It is Google's thinnest phone yet. That's their quote, not mine. It is impressive. I was worried about the official specs because the Z Fold first gen was kind of iffy, but this one looks pretty great. It unfolds completely flat. It's got a 7.6 inch display. It is weather resistant and it packs in premium pixel lenses. There's a dual screen interpreter mode, which OMG, I can't wait to use that in Japan. How freaking cool is that? And it has got the Tensor G2. We also got to see a demo of the screen folding. So we got to see what it would look like when you actually fold it. I do love the multitasking views. I feel like I'm going to use that a whole lot. It costs $17.99 plus tax. It ships next month and you can get a free Pixel watch with it, including the LTE version. So that's a pretty cool deal. Here are some of the specs listed from the website that you can read over in case you are interested. I did pre-order one of these. Hopefully it gets here in a decent amount of time so I can get a review out to you ASAP. Number two is the Pixel tablet. This tablet is confirmed to have a Tensor G2 and 11 inch display four built-in speakers, an aluminum enclosure, which sounds very nice and fancy, and a lot more. They did show these on screen here. You can pause this and read over all of the specs on your own if you would like to. This does look really sleek. It comes with the Google photo editing features that we know and love. The apps are being optimized better for larger screens, so that should look really nice. The charging speaker dock, which does come bundled for free from Google, normally it would cost over a hundred bucks if you purchased it separately. That turns it into a hub and then it can be used for all sorts of things like you would a Google Home Hub, like a photo album or home controls or, or a lot more. It also has a fingerprint sensor, so that looks really nice. And it will work to control all of your matter enabled devices. Multi-user switching helps with privacy. I love that feature. It also has Chromecast built in so you can Chromecast to it from your phone. I feel like they thought of everything for this product. I feel I feel like the tablet is going to really, really fit my needs as a content creator. This is going to be so nice to use whenever I'm like sitting in my living room, for example, or taking it on a plane because there's also a stand, which you can buy separately, that has a case for the tablet. Uh, I pre-ordered one of those two, but it will ship separately and it looks like it's a little delayed already. It comes in three different colors. Pre-orders start today and this will ship for a starting price of $4.99. By the way, I've been working on this video all day. I have not eaten. So if you like this video, a subscribe would mean a whole lot to me. I just hit 100,000 subscribers on my channel. I use these subscriptions as an indicator to figure out what kind of topics you're interested in. So it lets me know that that you find value in this kind of content. So please subscribe, thank you. <laughs> Number three is Android. Google is working hard to implement RCS into messaging to 800 million users. They have tons of partners worldwide. And come on, Apple, you're just, you're just not on board. And that makes me very sad because I have a lot of family that still uses iPhones. I posted a video about RCS and secure texting just a few weeks ago. So check that out if you want more information, especially if you want to argue in the comments about it. Generative AI is making Android look more expressive with Magic Compose. It looks really fun. It looks very personalized. Material U will get more customizations, kind of a little upgrade. I really like the options. I like prettier options. I just like pretty things. So this makes me happy. I am loving the lock screen options as well that they are bringing. And the cinematic wallpaper looks pretty cool. So lots of updates, pretty things to look at, pretty things to look forward to and many useful features are also being integrated and updated this year. Speaking of which, number four is AI. I separated this out from Android because they technically are two different things. So Help Me Write uses AI to generate emails for you, such as a response to an airline, for example, to request a full refund instead of a flight voucher. It even pulls in relevant information, such as your flight itinerary from previous emails. I feel like that's very 
very useful. Immersive View in Google Maps got an update. It's now called Immersive View for Routes. So you can now see turn by turn directions from like this bird's eye view to a 3D map. And it looks so, so nice. This will also show you traffic and weather for different time periods of the day. It will be available in 15 cities to start, including Tokyo. So I'm really hoping that I can use this when I go to Japan in October. Google Photos is also getting smarter. Magic Eraser is getting some updates and a new name called Magic Editor. Now my response when I was watching this, I was like, what? Okay. Editor can make edits like adjust where your subject is or change the sky to look more blue and cloudless. If you wanna reposition a subject to be more centered, the AI will generate whatever was normally cut off at the edge of the screen. That's crazy. If you edit the sky, the rest of the photo lighting would change too. So I feel like this is gonna be very fun to play with for my Instagram photos, cause I'm constantly looking at ways that I can make my pictures look better for social media as a content creator. <laughs> Google is introducing upgraded backend technologies called Palm 2 and SecPalm for better things like language models, security, AI collaboration, and specialized domains like medical and a lot more. And number five is Bard. We knew they would talk about Bard at Google I.O., so let's chat about Bard. Google announced that it's already learned over 20 different coding languages, and that is its most popular use case. Now tools are coming to Bard. So what does that mean? Well, it means that you can use services or extensions while you are collaborating with Bard. They mentioned security. They didn't go into a lot of details, so I am very curious to hear more about how that will work. Oh, and exporting is now a thing. That's pretty awesome. BARD is opening up to 180 plus countries today without the wait list, so you can try it out for yourself. Even if you originally signed up with the wait list, you don't have to wait any longer. Plus, you can talk to it in Japanese and Korean now with more coming. A ton of AI is gonna be brought to Google Workspace via Duet AI as well. Search is getting an AI makeover. Uh, sh should we start drinking every time I say AI? I feel like it's a thing. <laughs> Search will have these things called generative results. They gave some examples of what you will be able to do with it. And this actually looks very, very helpful and more human in a sense. It might even be great for content creators, especially to kind of up our watch time and views since it could generate results in Google search based on what is in a video, not necessarily like a title and description. Just my YouTube YouTuber mind going off right now. And just to note that I wanted to mention, even though I've done a previous episode about the rumors, the Pixel 7a was officially announced. It's powered by the Tensor G2. It's got eight gigs of RAM and it is confirmed for $499 with pre-orders starting today. I also ordered this one too. My wallet is hurting a lot right now, but I want to get these products in to test. I really want to get them in time. I don't want to delay these reviews for you. So keep an eye on my channel for the upcoming reviews of all of these Pixel devices. I ordered all of the things and updates to consumer facing integrations of AI. I've got a recent Android video over here that you can check out and you can also check out this video that YouTube thinks you'll enjoy. Okay, I'm starving. I haven't eaten all day, so I'll see you later. Bye y'all.